The Fire and Rescue Service gets mobilised to thousands of property fires every year. Fires which endanger life, cause physical injury, damage property and the environment. However, the effects of fire don't have to be so devastating. Sprinkler systems can protect your life and your property. Despite this, there are many myths about sprinklers, often based on how they're portrayed on film and television, and this short film will show you that these myths are simply not true. Fires in living rooms are particularly dangerous and account for a number of fatalities every year. At this point of the fire, smoke detectors would activate if fitted, but the fire is continuing to develop. Smoke is starting to spread across the ceiling, making the property increasingly dangerous for anyone inside. Now the heat is so intense, the blanking plate has fallen as the sprinkler system prepares to activate. After two and a half minutes, the sprinkler head activates and starts to extinguish the fire. A typical sprinkler head requires around 40 litres of water a minute to operate effectively, but firefighters can use 10 times this amount. In our experience, water damage from sprinklers is so minimal, householders are often able to stay in the property, or at worst are away for no more than 24 hours. Now the Fire and Rescue Service has arrived to fully extinguish what remains of the fire. This sprinkler intervention hasn't just saved the occupant's life, it has also made the scene far safer for the fire crew. One of the common myths about sprinkler systems is they can go off accidentally, a bit like a smoke detector with smoke from burnt toast. That's simply not the case. Only the heat from a fire will set off a sprinkler system. It's proven technology. I'm holding here a sprinkler bulb from a residential sprinkler system. This is the blanking plate that sits flush with the ceiling. When the heat from the fire gets to about 50 or 60 degrees from the, at ceiling temperature, there's three little solders which will melt and the blank plate will actually drop to the floor. And then that exposes the sprinkler head itself. And what we have here is a deflector plate and inside a small glass bulb. In the bulb there's fluid and an air bubble. When the heat from the fire makes the fluid expand, it contracts the air bubble and eventually pressure will build up inside the bulb and it will break. When it breaks, that allows the water pressure to push out a little brass cap, allowing the water to then hit the deflector plate and create the cone shape, which is typical of a sprinkler system. And that's what will control the fire. As I said, these are incredibly reliable. And worldwide statistics have shown that for every 16 million heads that are manufactured, only one will malfunction. This is what happens when you pour water onto a chip pan fire. A fireball engulfs the room. It's a common myth that the same thing will happen if a sprinkler system activates over a chip pan fire. Because the sprinkler system delivers small droplets of water, instead of creating a fireball, the burning oil is quickly cooled and the fire will be either controlled or extinguished. Fire can and does spread rapidly. Even a few minutes can mean the difference between life and death. Having a fire in your home or business is a terrifying experience. However, the damage and heartache can be kept to a minimum with the intervention of sprinklers. Such systems are proven in protecting life and property. Can you afford to not have one fitted?